a completely different topic today. I would like to show what the new Runway Act 1 is all about. Behind me, you can see a few videos showing how Kling or Runway can bring a drawing to life, simply from a quick sketch. I would like to show you how this works on the Mid Journey website in a moment. Welcome back. Let's go straight to the edit section of the Mid Journey website. To open the external image editor, click on Edit in the navigation bar on the far left. To start a new project, click on Edit New Image at the top. In step one, I then select the brown Edit Uploaded Image button and choose an image from my desktop that I want to edit. For demonstration purposes, I'll use this illustration here. It's one of my drawings of a child. In step two, I use the suggest prompt function so that Midjourney analyzes the image and defines the essential prompt elements. The result is a simple drawing of an eerie looking boy with big eyes and messy hair. This is the basic prompt for further processing, so to speak. I tried it out straight away. In the third step, I use the retexture function and add a style reference to the prompt alongside the words and a black t-shirt against a black background. In this specific case, 10,054. The result is this equally impressive and grotesque puppet monster. You might also perform this retexture process with other style reference codes. So this image appears to be a little cuter. You can see the history of my work on the right. I have already tried a few things. If you didn't like the style so far, just use another style reference. In this case, however, it looks a bit creepy again. For the next example, I have used the style reference 10,213. As soon as you have finished modifying the image, use the Upscale to Gallery button at the bottom left to transfer the image in Step 4 to the Create area of Midjourney. There, you will then find the various images you have selected. Just download them to your desktop. In Step 5, the journey in Runway begins. Runway has recently released a new tool called Act 1. To use this new function, first go back to the Runway homepage, then clicks on the blue Try It Now button in the header at the top where it says Introducing Act 1. This will then redirect you to the Gen 3 Alpha app. The user has the following choice here, video creation via prompt or the version via Act 1. We then click on the lower button. You can now upload your own video to the upper area. For this example, I am using a video of me delivering a short statement. In the area below, you could use ready-made images, for example, this dog here or one of these people, to create an individual video edit. Right now, you can see how Runway analyzes the video to define the expressions on my face. My video is approximately 7 seconds in total. Be very careful with the length of your videos at the beginning because every second costs, as of today, 10 credits. As happened to me, you can burn through your credits very quickly. I've already consumed 300 credits today and decimated my remaining budget for the month. Since I don't want to use any of these ready-made images, I click on the Upload button on the right. This allows you to upload a picture of your choice to the system. In our case, we're using the cute puppet monster. The following happens. Runway will tell you if the format of your images does not fit. As I need 16 by 9 for the video output, I now confirm the request by clicking on the Crop button. Runway then inserts this image in the new 16 to 9 format here below the video. I can now evaluate my video at the top by using the slider to see the individual animation stages. If I click on the Generate button at the bottom here, Runway transfers the facial expressions of my face to the image and animates it, together with the voice. The result is then displayed here on the right. The result is really impressive. I would like to show you how I create this character from a sketch using the mid -journey editor and then bring it to life using Runway Act 1. Some of the images are really amazing, but others are quite creepy. Let's find out which works best. Just try it out for yourself. Simply generate an image via Midjourney, then give it a new look and feel with the external image editor and animate it via Runway. This is how you can quickly turn a simple sketch into a cool video. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it.
Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and recommend it to others. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI. Now you know.